Eve Johnson Horton and Charlie Bishop uh, teaming up with his daughter of uh, Camford Cliffs, who's been second in a couple of maidens uh, over Bath over shorter trips. And yet another one who should appreciate uh, the extra distance this afternoon. And in fact, you can see um, simply Susan uh, having a, a major say in this. Uh, Johnny Portman runs Annie Quickstep, another one of the uh, fillies in the race, Rob Hornby on board. Uh, she improved markedly at Chepstow last time out, having been down the field at Windsor on a debut. She was stepped up to seven last time at Chepstow and was uh, third of five behind Gert Luce. So a bit, bit more improvements have come, maybe. And Archie Watson, who had uh, Alicia Darcy beaten in the first race today, uh, he saddles Grace Note with the blinkers on for the first time under Holly Doyle. Hasn't really shown too much in a couple of uh, races so far at Wolverhampton and Yarmouth. Um, David Flood's um, toolmaker, of course, is making his debut uh, this afternoon. Quite well related, though. Uh, the dam, Calypso Dream, uh, she's related to uh, a French Oaks heroine in uh, Star of Seville and also group winner in the UK, English uh, Ballad. So, certainly not badly bred, that's for sure, to make, uh, but you, you think it's, uh, it's definitely going to be needing the run this afternoon. So, six runners then for our next visit to Brighton very shortly for the 2.10 race, and Great Aim is the likely favourite, and uh, is the early favourite. We'll be back shortly with an update on the betting, though, and commentary. Join us soon. Yeah, and as you uh, read, John, as the runners have just about reached the start now, a couple of minutes to go to the off then for race two already at Brighton this afternoon. So without further ado, let's have a look at how the betting has been shaping up and great aim 13 to 8 now, 15 to 8 available earlier on, but down to 13 to 8 in the ring 11 to 4 simply, Susan. Never in red drifting out to 9 to 2. Any quick step is 7s. Toolmaker. Not without support. 18 to 1 best price, Toolmaker, the newcomer for David Flood, and is now down to 12 to 1. And Grace Note also actually shortening up a little bit, Archie Watson's runner, 20s into 16. So even the two outsiders are uh, not without a, a little bit of support at least. But uh, anybody who saw Great A making his debut 16 days ago uh, will know that he was uh, a little bit unlucky uh, as they were coming round into the straight. He got caddied wide as they went into the finishing straight and there was less than two furlongs for him to recover and he didn't quite manage to do it but he was only beaten uh, length and three quarters at the line by Jamie Osborne's uh, Miss Thoughtful Miss Thoughtful has been out since then and got beat at Chelmsford uh, last time so hasn't paid a compliment to the form I have to say uh, but Great Aim doesn't know that and as I say it was a, a little bit unlucky in running last time but he strongly fancied here to uh, make amends. They are already going behind and loading in. They're not hanging around uh, Brighton. We are going to be off bang to time for this seven furlong contest then as they go behind and load in. Simply Susan, the one expected to give it most to do. Runner up on both occasions so far at Bath. Looking like a, a certain future winner you would think of a, a, a moderate maiden at least and the step up in trip should suit. So Simply Susan, uh, the one to make a race of it then with great aim. Never in this red. Is now in He's play. just going in now into stall number six under Cairdan O'Neill. As the last one goes in, we're just about ready on the off. Great aim, 13 to 8 is the favourite. They're 